Well, good morning everyone on uh, Tuesday the 4th of July as we head into today's European session um, on um, Independence Day. Independence Day is 4th of July which means there is obviously celebrations going on in America which is likely to be a reason for pretty subdued price action across certainly across stocks over the course of yesterday and today and that is likely to continue you would have to imagine over the course of today with a lack of liquidity in markets. I can't imagine today being the most exciting days of trading when you uh, when you think about it. But apart from that, you got yeah uh, you got the RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia. They were out uh, over the course of last night. Went on a pause. Some think it was a hawkish pause. You know, deciding that they you know would continue to look at. They have not ruled out interest rate hikes going forward. And and yeah, that's they will they will kind of see how the data pans out going going forward. But they decided not to raise interest rates. You know, some market participants had expected them to raise interest rates. And um, certainly, the consensus on the economic calendars was for that, and that is not what we got. So you can see Asian stocks rose on Tuesday afternoon as Australia central bank held rates steady, which helps ease investor worries about the over tightening of policies by central banks. So Asia Pacific stocks are higher, apart from the Nikkei, which has pulled back from the highs, but that's had such an aggressive bull run. Over the last number of months, that that is no surprise that that is having a bit of a pullback. You can see the Japanese yeah, Nervia's markets are on intervention alert, um, and and yeah, but uh, the, uh, the Bank of Japan dollar yen is up uh, up at one forty five, continues to trade up near one forty five, and yeah, showed a reluctance to break through when it touched it there last week. Do we make another? Do we make another attempt higher at it, or do we pull back from those highs? There's no clear signs of intervention just yet. Obviously, we'll have to keep an eye, see if it does make another attempt at that 145 level. Um, but apart from that, um, I've got really, really much else going on. I mean, Japan's currency diplomat is Tokyo in constant FX dialogue with US. Um, Masato Kanda said on Tuesday, authorities were in close contact with US Tre Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and other overseas officials almost every day on currencies and broader financial markets, which is not surprising. Uh, but that 145 level on dollar yen seems to be an important level when it comes to the price of the japanese yen um apart from that if we have a quick click across the grid you can see u.s stock in this indices slightly lower but nothing nothing major european stock indices stock index is uh, slightly lower you know, the, the most of which in all of these is minus 0 0.15 percent so basically flat across the board these age specific equity futures they're i mean they're slightly higher but not really higher by any sort of uh, any sort of sort of aggression Bond markets in the US closed for trading. You can see it, um you can see commodity slightly higher and also slightly lower, so no clear picture across that. Um bonds rest of the globes globes bonds pretty mixed. So not really a great deal to see on a morning like this. The US dollar pretty negative across the board. Flip that across the Australian dollar, which is which is pretty choppy, which is kind of met back in the middle after its sell off post RBA. Um, Kiwi up slightly, but again, you can see all if you look at all the percentage movements across all these currencies, up and down the um, up and down the grid. I think plus zero point two was the biggest amount of movement I've seen on any currency pair, which obviously says to you that there's not a great deal going on across financial markets over the course of today you can have a look at the calendar and again the calendar is pretty pretty quiet you got the rba you can see consensus of 4.35 percent actual 4.1 percent so no interest rate hike from the rba you got some trade balance figures some exports figures which haven't really kicked markets into gear too much got some labor market figures out of spain which again is that really likely to impact markets you'd have to imagine Probably not. You got two thirty Canadian manufacturing PMI. Again, some weak numbers. You know, probably hope for some weak numbers in terms of Canada to kind of confirm a pause from the central bank. So some weak numbers out of there. Maybe look to get short some Canadian dollars, but again, not likely to be a lot of liquidity to get that sort of stuff moving. See equities across the US equities up the top. You can see the S and P, the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, and the Russell all chopping sideways. The DAX having a bit of downside over the course of yesterday and making another attempt lower pre-open this morning with the FTSE pretty choppy. The NAC, uh, the Nikkei, the Nikkei pushing lower to start the day's trading, but really these US indices just look primed for further sideways price action as we head into today's European trading. Apart from that, you got the Australian dollar. You can see uh, the initial spike lower, and then you've met back 
kind of pre-release prices so nothing really to see there you can see euro dollar sideways kiwi pretty sideways cable pretty sideways a bit of upside in the kiwi but does that manage to break higher with it being independence day i'd imagine probably not the dollar swiss sideways dollar yen sideways dollar cad sideways dollar index sideways i suppose you could look at a, you know, a couple of these types of things and you know, maybe you can get a bit of a you know, be clutching the straws in terms of where it's at on the chart but there's a bit of an inverse head and shoulders there on on euro dollar you can come to dollar yen you can see the same thing maybe that's a little bit more of a significant one we get a bit of left shoulder a bit of a head a bit of a right shoulder got a solid neckline all the way through there you know maybe that is something worth paying attention to yeah no it's a clear technical move i mean not a fundamental move but the fact that you've rejected off 145 in the form of a bit of a head and shoulders maybe makes sense for a bit of short term downside maybe back towards 143 or something like that but again that's not exactly the highest conviction trade but the dollar index as well showing your head and shoulders maybe that helps your dollar yen push lower these yields you know if these fail at this 3.85 3.9 percent um number on on the 10 year yield that pushes lower that should drag dollar yen lower so you got to keep an eye on that but if that does pop higher up through this level that we are at at the moment we haven't really broken it with much much aggression if we do get up through that as likely to be positive for dollar yen probably positive for the US dollar apart from that Aussie yen grinding higher CAD yen pretty sideways this gold chart back at this level that we were looking at we obviously sold off of this level last week in the form of a nice kind of descending triangle I did manage to have a push lower which we which we called and uh, when you're making higher lows and higher highs on on gold you've stayed, you come into an uptrend and you're back at this uh, 1930 uh, 1930 uh, level if you do get back above here on gold then it should uh, looks prime for further upside back towards maybe something like like this trend line up here maybe somewhere like um oh, sorry there's my box something like like back there but i think that 1930 level is important if you remain below it and do start to push back lower again then you'd hope for this downtrend to uh to continue do pop up above 1930 maybe it looks prime for a bit more of a deeper deeper pullback but you know for me interest rates where they are at as they continue to rise should prove further negative for gold in my um in my opinion so something worth keeping an eye on going forward is that a pullback or is that a complete trend reversal obviously remains to uh remains to be seen but nothing on the calendar later on this afternoon independence day in the u.s likely to be low levels of liquidity so i wouldn't go chasing moves too far over the course of today